Every failed attempt is taking its toll on Tommy's strength and stamina. Finally, they abandon the board. Shake, man! It looks like Tommy's hopes for a wedding on water have hit the rocks. It's day one of wedding planning, and before he does anything else, Tommy has one very important job. Find out if he has a knack for water skiing. Still, it can't be all that difficult, can it? Oh, lovely weather. The boys are meeting water skiing coaches Mark and James to find out if learning to water ski from scratch in less than three weeks is even possible. So this is day water skiing, guys. Brilliant. <laughs> Have you ever done it? Nope. No. <laughs> Never. Well, today's the day you're going to learn. <laughs> three, two, one, and you get. Complete novice Tommy has never water skied in his life. But all he has to do is stay upright long enough to say his vows. I've competed for Great Britain. I've been like Germany, France, been as far as New Zealand for competitions. It was a really good experience. How hard can it be? Arm straight, arm straight, knees bent. Yeah. Come on, mate. Well, actually, it's proper hard. Keep it going, buddy. Oh, mate, nearly. Shit! Try as he might, Tommy simply doesn't have the strength to stay up in the water. Bit spaghetti arms, keep them straight and you'll be away. You've got this, Tommy. Or has he? Oh, bend your arms. Come on, man. Suck it up, Buttercup. It's only Buttercup's first lesson. Maybe everyone's this bad first time. Not one of the worst we've seen, but he's pretty close to it. Oh, dear. But at least he's still trying. It seems Tommy is taking to water skiing like a duck to... No, he, he's rubbish. Failure. But this rate, no. Come on. Just leave me to drown. After three hours at sea with no sign of improvement or ability, Tommy's dreams of impressing his bride with a water ski wedding are sinking as fast as he is. I can't do it no more. Let's call it a day there, let's do. Tommy's lack of upper body strength or technique is casting doubt over his wedding plans. So how are you feeling, Tommy? Failure. 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 Failure, yeah. How right. far are you looking to ski? Because obviously at the moment we've probably got five well, metres. I don't know, as long as I can just say I do in enough time, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Well, you might get I do in before you hit the water at the moment, I know. but that'd be about it. His inability to stand up on skis and his lack of stamina at sea have broken him in body and in spirit. What, mate? All right. What's wrong with you? Tommy's feeling sunk already, and with absolutely nothing sorted for the big day, it's up to best man Ash to get Tommy and the wedding back on course. Been sick. Oh, my head's been down the loo half of the night. Drinking all that seawater yesterday, wasn't it? Drowning, Mate, I must have drank gallons of it because I don't feel good. And my ears are literally blocked to the max. I can feel the ocean in my head, mate. Get that down, yeah. Oh, cheers, mate. We're going to get a venue, mate. I'm not too f good feeling about that at the minute. Well, we were sort out then, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Stop moping about here. Yeah? Mopey Dick. Mopey Dick? Tommy the Tit. Sinking Tom, yeah? The wedding be sinking minute like you were yesterday. I sort of moping about, yeah, face ready, <laughs> and come out, yeah? I'm so going to get a venue. First port of call, Mount Batten. Right in front of the beautiful Plymouth seafront. There's just one problem. Exposed to high winds and strong waves, it's only recommended for expert skiers. You might have noticed Tommy isn't one. <laughs> oh, this is not good. My balls are soaking. How do you fancy skiing in these conditions? No, I don't fancy skiing in these conditions now. The problem is, once you're out in here in these conditions, you've got to have strong legs to, to get over these waves. Oh, shit. So, um, if the weather's bad, you know, it's game over. Just look for calm. If it's not calm, you get the hell out of here. Right. If I don't want to die. It's got the beautiful backdrop but it's a no-go for a novice skier like Tommy. So the boys head inland, up the River Plym, in search of calmer waters. Look how much flour is there in here. 
Okay. It's much it's what I need. Let me have a look. Right, I need to stand up. The boys may have found a new stretch of river, with the sheltered conditions perfect for a novice skier. The trouble is, the view here is quite literally rubbish. Yeah. You've got yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. The scrap your old dump bomb. It's probably full of tampons and everything. <laughs> Syringes. It's not the prettiest place to get married. I'm not necessarily a rubbish dump. It's not happening. I want to please her and I want to make it look nice. I'm not going to make my missus stand here and scrap me on a dump. Well, right. she's not going to be, is she? She'll be on the water doing that. Well, it's a big day for me. Well, I'm getting married, not you, mate, and I'm starting to get really frustrated now. Yeah, I really am. It's sort of starting to really piss me off. Can we just drive, can we drive back now? Because yeah. I'm starting to get really annoyed. Oh, right. bit, the whole idea now, mate, everything's just really annoying me. Sick of the sea. The idea I want is not actually going to plan at all. It's going to shit. So Tommy can't ski on choppy waters with the beautiful backdrop of Mountbatten, and he's refusing to settle for the calmer waters in front of the less than picturesque view. His dream of a wet and wild wedding is looking totally sunk. If Tommy can't stand up in the water now, his whole plan for the wedding will be well and truly sunk. I'm a bit worried if I don't, if I can't do it today. I'm sort of it a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's a bit, it seems a bit more calmer. The weather's a lot better today, so it's better conditions. So hopefully I can nail it on the air today and get it done. Prove to Tony and Hannah I can do it. So I've got a lot to live up to, really, haven't I? Hey, Tommy, man, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, good on, mate, you all right? Yeah, doing, Sam, good to see you again. Sun shining, a little bit better weather than the last time, Yeah, dude. hopefully, mate, I need to land it today. We better get cracking then, bud. You feeling nervous, mate? Myself, mate. Really? I am, I'm proper nervous, because if I don't get this right, I'm... Aware of how important this final lesson is to Tommy's wedding plans, Coach Mark has brought along a special training board usually used to help children to get up on the water for the first time. As you go to stand up now, take the handle. Whoa. Jesus! It's a disastrous start. Give it another go. Every failed attempt is taking its toll on Tommy's strength and stamina. Finally, they abandon the board. Shake, man! It looks like Tommy's hopes for a wedding on water have hit the rocks. With absolutely nothing to lose, Coach Mark gets Tommy to have one final try on skis. So we have a go on the skis? What if we can't get up? Let's have a go, man. Come on, Tommy, mate. We've got faith in you this time. Right, this is it. This is what it's all about. Perfect! Woo! Well done! Go! Against the odds, he's finally up. Woo! Go on, but not for long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's enough for me, I think. I'm making like a bit. At the last minute, he's pulled it out of the bag. But when it comes to doing it for real, Tommy will have to stay up for a lot longer to say his vows on some of the choppiest waters in Plymouth. With the wedding just around the corner, Tommy is seriously doubting his ability to stay standing on the big day. I don't know how I can, you know, pull it off. You know, it's, it's not easy, and I'm starting to lose the plot, to be honest. Like, my head's going to explode. It's a lot of pressure because I've never water skied in my life. I'm doing all this wedding for her, and the whole thing, I'm, you know, the idea of the whole water skiing res revolves around her. I just need to stay positive. You know, I've got to fight through it and I've got to carry on.